Welcome to the ATEG channel for another new video. As we all know, the fight against global warming is becoming more and more intense. It involves every country and every person in the world. As we speak, Fred just scientists have invented yet another very interesting technology. This is the famous wind turbine without blades. It goes far beyond the wind turbines that we know today. But how and why do they shun wind farms? We'll discuss it in this video. Here we go. Today, France has 8,000 wind turbines. This represents 8% of the energy mix. This, in a sense, can ensure security for supply in the face of changing prices of oil and raw materials. Independence will increase further. Indeed, France should reach the goal of 15,000 wind turbines by 2050. But why so many projects around wind turbines? Well, wind turbines are one of the energy sources that can develop on a large scale. Powerful and ecological, they're capable of providing energy needs of an entire city. They are real alternatives to coal and fossil fuels, but these devices are not perfect. Their implementation requires overcoming several obstacles. First, wind turbines can only be installed in specific locations. Each device must be placed in a specific location, so where there's a lot of wind. As a result, it cannot be deployed on your roof or in the garden like solar panels. But that's not all. It's large size and moving parts that compose a greatly complicated its realization. In addition, the manufacturing process and installation work can be very expensive. These various problems constitute a huge obstacle for the worldwide exploration of this energy source. This is why today it is rarely seen in some areas. In addition, there is visual and noise pollution. In only 10 years, wind farms in France have flourished. Nearly 8,000 onshore wind turbines, implemented in more than 1,380 parks, have started up at full speed. They're often planted on large plains, particularly in Hues de France and Grand S regions. And they're accused of destroying landscape. It should be noted that the law sets a minimum installation distance of 500 meters from the house. Also, the noise threshold of 35 decimals maximum. Despite this, people living in wind farms complain very regularly. Biodiversity advocates claim that the wind turbines are dangerous for wildlife, especially for birds that are cut by the blades. Farmers also suggest that wind turbines are a nuisance to wildlife, especially livestock. And that's not all. Citizens living on wind farms complain about physical impacts they may have caused by wind turbines. These include complaints of insomnia, headaches, and fatigue. Unfortunately, this technology is not only available on a small scale today. The company that developed has announced that it needs more time. But that could be a thing for the past with this invention. The EWICON turns out it could be very ingenious. It is indeed a wind turbine without blades and without rotating parts. How do you think this is possible? Well, you should know that as we speak, the device is already at the end of this test. According to the designers, it could change the field of renewable energy forever. To understand how it works, we must review the operation of conventional windmills. Our traditional windmills are made of what is called a turbine. This turbine generates electric current from a mechanical movement. These windmills work in three phases. They capture the kinetic energy of the wind, transform it into mechanical energy, and then into electrical energy. This process requires a large amount of wind, but it also is very noisy and produces great vibrations. This is one of the reasons why the devices cannot be installed in cities or near a house. Most of the time, they're found in the sea or in the middle of the desert. To solve these problems, scientists from the University of Delft have designed an EWICON is an electronic wind energy converter. Except that it doesn't need long blades or huge moving parts like our traditional wind turbines. The prototype can be seen in front of the facility of the engineering campus in the city of Delft in the Netherlands. But how does it actually work? In fact, these scientists are true wind turbine geniuses. They thought it might be possible to generate electricity without converting it into mechanical energy. They tried it and the result was convincing. The EWICON is based on the mechanical structure of which horizontal tubes are placed. These are made up of several canals and electrodes. They continuously diffuse water particles in the air. These particles are positively charged. When they're hit by the force of the wind, they move towards a negatively charged electrode. This creates an electric field. The EWICON uses what is called a flow of charged particles. This allows us to produce electric current thanks to the energy created at the time of the movements of the particles. 
It is like trying to lift a heavy stone from the ground. The higher the stone is, the greater the force of the gravity that pulls it down. That's what happens in this technology. The electric power it generate increases as the water particles are blown away by the wind. This increase in energy can then be captured and harnessed with several methods. The simplest example to understand is that the systems consisting of nozzles and electrodes the wind carries the particles away from a positive electrode. Inside an insulated collector, this causes an increase in electric voltage. This can be then converted, moved, and used on our daily energy needs. But this system requires two separate components to operate. Fortunately, there's another way to operate it, but with only one component. In fact, the entire system is isolated from the ground. Only one collector is needed to generate the electric current. The positively charged water particles are dispersed by the wind. When they move away from the dispersed area, they lead to the formation of negatively charged particles. The difference in charge between the particles increases the electrical voltage of the system. This is the method used in the EWICON. This allows it to be more efficient and autonomous than very similar device. What makes this technology very interesting is the many possibilities it offers. Unlike other wind turbines of the future that have been built so far, it limits the use of materials. It is a simple system, but with enormous potential. On the other hand, the technology can be designed in different sizes and shapes. It is modular. We can easily expand it. More than that, it doesn't need strong wind to work. We don't need to install it in the sea, in the desert, or in the mountains. As for its discretion, it is quite sustainable for widespread use in cities. It does not make noise, annoying vibrations, or shade. It can be perfectly placed on our roofs and infrastructures next to our houses. This is a device that is perfectly meet our daily energy needs, but also the current climate requirements. But the EWICON is not the only futuristic wind turbine already visible in the world. We can also find prejudice inventions like Vortex Bladeless. We've already covered the topic in one of our videos. We could also revolutionize the renewable energy sector in the near future. Indeed, wind is an inexhaustible energy source. More and more organizations are constantly looking for modern technologies to better exploit it. Among the already existing inventions, the wind turbine without blades seems the most promising. That's it, we're coming to the end of our video. I hope you've learned more about this new wind turbine model. If you enjoyed it, leave us a little blue thumbs up and share the video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications so you don't miss our next videos. See you soon on ATEC.